Hi guys and welcome to the FPL Game Week Review video today guys. We'll be taking a look back at uh, how we did for Game Week 2 uh, of this season's FPL after the Liverpool game against Crystal Palace where we just finished one all, uh, two draws um, for Liverpool to start off the season. Obviously not a great situation and um, we'll talk a little bit about the Nunes thing as well in a minute and then we'll start to plan how I'm looking to go for Game Week 3. Apologies for me with the slight little lack in audio for today's video and um, after the Liverpool game it's already like 10 o'clock at night right now in the UK after the Liverpool game. Didn't fancy going late to my desk and stuff like that. I wanted to do it in a more comfy setting, so I'm just doing it on my bed, basically. Um, so that's why I don't have like my usual microphone or anything like that for uh, for this video. But um, yeah, 60 game week points. I think we're going to be above the average. The average going into Monday's game was 50, and I was on 56. Uh, so Robertson and Salah picked up two points. Didn't really do too much either of them. Uh, Robertson got took off after like the hour mark. I, I don't know now if I'm going to keep him. Uh, Liverpool looked terrible at the back, in all honesty. Um, obviously, if you had Nunes in your team, um, unlucky for you, uh, of course, with that red card that he got. Uh, yeah, no excuses. It was terrible what he'd done. Very, very frustrating. Uh, I looked to try and see as well, after he got the red card, I looked to see uh, on transfer market if he's ever had a history of getting red cards. Um, because it's obviously not often that strikers get sent off. And we will talk about the team in a minute, a little bit more in detail, but just to focus on this. Um... He's only ever had one red card before that in his history. It was for Al Maria um, when he was playing in the second division in Spain a couple of years ago. Uh, since he's been at Benfica, he's never had a red card. So two red cards now in his career. It doesn't seem to be like a regular recurrence, but... Uh, and I couldn't find out why he got that red card for Al Maria. Uh, I don't know if it was just because of like a tackle or a similar incident as to what took place tonight. But um, personally, you know, even I'll admit from a Liverpool fan, he deserved to get sent off. Obviously, you know, Anderson or, or whatever the past player's name was... Um, it, it's, it mustn't be nice to have literally someone screaming at you from behind you um, and simply you just turn around and just, you know, say something to him because, you know, any other player would have that usual reaction to that. But Nunes um, decided that violence was the right choice. So, yeah, and he's obviously paid the price, but uh, Diaz still would have won the goal to at least save us a point. But um, anyway, let's talk about the team a little bit more. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with my Liverpool assets. Obviously, they were very, very poor again today. Villa, very unlucky not to get the clean sheets. Very frustrating, especially after getting 2 nil up um, for that own goal to come in. was obviously annoying, so Cash didn't get his uh, his clean sheets. Uh, City were fantastic again. Uh, I mean, only Haaland, he only had eight touches in the game, but ultimately eight touches, and he still came with a goal contribution. And uh, Foden should have passed it to him as well for like an open goal finish uh, earlier on in the match. So it could have easily been a goal and an assist. I went with him as the captain choice it paid off in the end I mean uh, Haaland and Salah were by far the two highest picked captaincies Salah at 2.6 million Haaland at just over 3 million uh, and I still picked the right player to go for I mean obviously Jesus was the player that you really want to go for but only a few hundred thousand actually went for him so if you did actually captain Jesus fair play to you but if you didn't you're not really missing out because not that many captained him anyway and um, but yeah obviously City very very good happy to have Edison I think I need to get in a City player or, or, or a Chelsea defender you know City and Chelsea's games look very very very, very good, especially Chelsea's game. So I need to plan about that. Um, Martinelli, again, very good performance from him. Obviously, Jesus, his first goal was absolutely superb. Um, Son, bit of a disappointment again, like the Robertson situation. Got took off pretty early. He got took off, I think, before like 70, 75 minutes. Um, Gabriel... Yeah, uh, I think I'll be keeping him for the next game. We trip here. I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, he's kept two clean sheets, which has been very, very good, and picked up a, a, a bonus points each in both of those games. But now he's got City next game of the season. And I'm looking now... Uh, and I'm thinking, I'm not happy with him, I'm not happy with Cash, I'm not happy with Robertson, um, I'm looking at Neko Williams on the bench, he's only a £4 million option, yet he kept a clean sheet, they're away to Everton the next upcoming game week, I'm looking at Leon Bailey, who didn't, you know, who only got like four or five minutes towards the end of the uh, the end of the game, so it's, um, yeah, it's a frustrating one, I already used up my free transfer from the first game week as well, but uh, 60 game week points, um, I think after the rank updates as well, a little bit later on tonight, I will fall um, back uh, to around about 3.1 million or something like that. I was 3.6 million or 3.7 million going into this game week. So it was an improvement. So 119 points uh, overall from two game weeks isn't too bad. Um, and I'm going to be above the average after the first two game weeks, which is obviously what I'm trying to go for. So I'm pretty happy with that. And just confirmation that, yes, Jesus very much being my best player for this upcoming game week, uh, for this game week. Uh, he's got some very, very favorable fixtures as, uh, you know, at Arsenal in general, some very, very good games. Um, so very, very happy um, 
with, with you know we're keeping the Arsenal triple up that I am very happy with. So that is a good thing in terms of my uh, upcoming transfer. This is what I was initially thinking of, but now that the Liverpool game has been done, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know if I want to keep Robertson. Uh, Robertson didn't look great. Simakas, when he came on for Robertson, didn't look great either. So I'm really undecided as to what to go for there. But Leon Bailey, it was very disappointing. He didn't start the game for Villa despite having a good preseason. And he did start the game against Bournemouth as well for game week one. But um, came on with like four or five minutes to go in the game against Everton. Um Provided a good pass at the very end of the match to Watkins, who uh, kind of wasted his chance a little bit. So maybe on another day he goes and picks up like an assist there. But I'm looking at Dewsbury Hall, um, you know, who's, who's currently the same price, a much lower ownership, but in decent form. Uh, and he's played 90 minutes for both the first two games for the rest of the season. They've got a nice game coming up at home to Southampton, but then they have got difficult fixtures against Chelsea away and Man United at home. This is what I was initially thinking to be my first transfer. But the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm thinking I don't want Robertson in the team and, and this is a, a crazy thing because Liverpool and United and um, haven't looked great in their first two games certainly United haven't but I'm just thinking I don't really know if I want Robertson at 7 million I could either have a, and prices are going to change so I'm going to have to make my decision soon and um, I, I kind of want to think I could either go to, you know, to Cancelo and it would be a straight swap from two, uh, two 7 million pound players and I go with a triple up with City players but then there's going to be the inevitable um, City rotation to come at some point um, or I could go to Reese James, you know, and Chelsea have got some very, very good fixtures. He's got a good goal as well on the weekend against Spurs. He's a million pounds cheaper than Robertson as well at the moment. So there's that. But then there's other things that I have, you know, that I need to look into. Andres Pereira, who was hoping to maybe put in for this weekend, um, has picked up a knock. He's currently got 75% chance of playing, but that's still not an ideal situation Cash has picked up a slight muscle injury at the moment. They're saying 75% chance of playing, but um, yeah, it's not great. And and then I've got Neko Williams as well. You know what? Neko Williams genuinely might actually get into the team because then I don't want to play Trippier against you know Manchester City. So it's it, it really, really is a difficult one. I haven't updated there on the right-hand side some of the overall points or game week points there. So, uh, so just uh, don't pay attention to those. But um, even my transfer is going uh, to... To be honest, the more I look at it, I think to myself... Um, Maybe to get a Chelsea player in. I think maybe getting Rhys James in might be the best decision. I don't have any money in the bank at all at the moment. So it's not like I can upgrade cash to someone. I could only downgrade cash. Or I could only convert him from five. You know, I could, I could technically take cash out and put, you know, Cucurella in. But, I, you know, Cucurella, uh, uh, although he started that game and played pretty well against Spurs, isn't as much of a guaranteed starter as what Koulibaly is or as what, you know, Reece James is. Koulibaly obviously had a good game, got a goal, but he's never going to get the same amount of returns as what Reece James would get or something like that. So there's a lot of things that I have to look into this. In terms of players that I'm happy with, I'm happy with Edison, Gabriel, I'm happy with all um, three Arsenal players. I'm obviously happy to stick with Salah. Bailey, I kind of take it or leave it with him. Um, Son, I'm happy with, and Haaland, and, and obviously Edison's been a very, very good choice as well. So, um, yeah, I, I, I feel like this year, you know, two draws for Liverpool. Uh, obviously, they could turn it around, but it doesn't look like they're going to turn it around anytime soon. Uh, I thought we'd play well against Palace, but at the same time, it might make sense to go over triple because City looks so good. It might just make sense to either get a Chelsea player in there because they've got very, very good fixtures um, and Liverpool just haven't hit form yet and haven't hit any sort of consistency or take Robertson out and triple up on City players because City look absolutely ridiculously good at the moment in bringing Cancelo. I think the more that I think about it, I think that's probably more of the better move rather than bringing in Dewsbury Hall over Leon Bailey. And instead, maybe I just take the chance next week and put Andreas into the team ahead of Leon Bailey and, and hope that he plays. Um, and I think that might be the move the more that I think about it. The captaincy choice, it'll probably be either Jesus or Son. I haven't decided yet. Probably Jesus out of the two of them. Although you could argue that maybe Son would be in home has got the more favourable fixture. I just think that Jesus has just hit the ground running with Arsenal. Son has yet to find any consistent form. So, um, yeah, listen, two good game weeks, but game week three... I'm not liking the look of my team for game week three, but often a lot of the time when you don't like the look of your team for a certain game week, they tend to perform better than when you than when you do think you're going to have a good game week, and actually it doesn't turn out too well. So a lot of things to think about, but um, I suppose the over the average obviously isn't too bad. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.